Have you ever been playing a game and then suddenly tearing? Well, I exaggerated this a bit for demonstration, but tearing can be really distracting while gaming. If you're using a FreeSync or G-Sync monitor, tearing cannot help me, you might think. In reality though, it is pretty likely that you experience tearing due to the lack of a framerate limit, or even worse, a wrongly configured one. As Rainbow Six Siege doesn't provide proper menu options to configure a useful FPS cap, I will show you an easy way to do this through the game's configuration file. Now open up your documents folder and navigate to the folder called My Games. Open up the Rainbow Six Siege folder. Inside will be a folder named with some numbers and letters. If you have multiple accounts, there will be one of those for each account. Inside you will find the game settings file. It will open up a notepad when you double click on it. Now scroll down to the setting called FPS limit. Type in your desired value and confirm saving while closing the game settings. So let's talk a bit about the value you should limit your frame rate to. If you want to make use of the FreeSync or G-Sync capabilities of your monitor, you want to limit your frame rate slightly under the specified maximum refresh rate of your monitor to stay inside the free or G-Sync range. Let's say for instance you own a 144Hz monitor. So you will have to keep your frame rate below 144fps at something around 140fps for free or G-Sync to work as intended. You may get away with 142 FPS or you maybe need to go down to 138 FPS or below. That will depend on your specific game. In Rainbow Six Siege I have a good experience with limiting at 142 FPS. But there won't be any perceptual difference between something like 138 or 142 FPS. But why do you have to cap your frame rate below the specified maximum refresh rate? That's because your frame rate will always fluctuate slightly no matter which FPS limiter you use and no FPS cap with reasonably low latency can produce absolutely stable frame rates. So make sure to calculate with something around 2-5% of overshoot when choosing your FPS limit. Unfortunately, many games only offer a limited number of presets for capping your FPS. So you may see yourself capping your frame rate at 144 FPS when using a 144 Hz monitor, which will lead to tearing as your frame rate is frequently exceeding the maximum refresh rate of your monitor as explained before. Make sure to avoid that. Another way to cap your FPS at custom values is to use third-party software like RTSS to limit your FPS at custom values. But not everyone likes to bother with additional software. Even more, recent discoveries from a YouTuber named Better Nonsense suggest that in-game frame rate limiters will pretty much always produce the lowest, hence best latency. I will leave a link to Better Nonsense findings in the description if you're interested. So you probably want to use the game's own limiter if you have the opportunity. Ubisoft could clearly have made it easier, but nevertheless, the limiter gets its job done. Thanks for watching.